Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Friday here, 15 November. I just finished this book, Into the Fire, by Dakota Meyer. It's a Marine Corps dude who um, fought in Afghanistan. Wow. What a book. Very, very emotional. Um, not sure it's the best book to read before or finish reading before trading day, but I got up early this morning to finish it. It was that good. Um, damn. Anyway, um, let's have a look at these markets uh, and uh, get ready for our day here. Here's a Euro. Uh, bullish engulfing yesterday not super powerful closed at the same close as the day before um, but this does look like the turn that we've been waiting for long euro today looks the way forward uh, we had dollar yen break down through that daily trend line yesterday at 56 um, and now we have euro now turning so it looks like we're in for some dollar sales uh, going forward today and this is the side we'll be playing on as far as um, European data we don't have much uh, we've got some October inflation data coming out nobody cares about that we've got Italian inflation data nobody cares about that either um, the bulk of the action is going to be today, 2.30 CET, Swiss time, uh, retail sales, and then 3.15, we have industrial production out of the U.S. This will drive the day's action as far as euro dollar and dollar index is concerned. Um, but here we are. We are calling the turn here. Let's see how she goes. Dollar Swiss, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Euro Swiss went higher on these Cudlow comments last night. Um, but Dollar Swiss, we're waiting uh, for this 98.40 level. That's a very big and important level. Um, core short going into this is probably the way. Dollar Swiss is a tricky little bugger, right? So, I don't know. You can sell into the 99 handle, sort of between 99 the figure and 99.30 if you want to. Um, we have the euro on, so it's basically the same trade. But uh, core short dollar Swiss also is of interest to us. Here's the dollar yen chart. Um, this is the trend line from yesterday. You can see that today we just death knocked it at uh, 64. Um, we don't believe this is going to get above this sort of 70 area. If stocks turn, or even if they don't turn, we feel like um, dollar negativity is on the cards here. It's a pretty good trend line yesterday, so short dollar yen also suits. Um, you could sell here with a pretty tight stop, it's 58.9 here. Uh, but again, this is all kind of one trade here, so if you're long euros, um, you don't need to add tons of dollar yen or dollar Swiss. But have a, you know, this is an interesting setup if you missed it yesterday. It's like a dollar CAD also confirming weaker dollar um, we had bullets speaking overnight pretty hawkish about the wage inflation dollar cad zipped lower um, we were talking about this whole area yesterday saying wow this looks like she's gonna make new highs but now with this big dollar turn and the bullets comments um, you can sell dollar cat today between uh, 132, 35, and 55. Not much action in Aussie here. Uh, you got pulling two opposing forces. 
Um, you have the general negative Aussie price action from unemployment and such, but now you have the weaker dollar pulling against it and equities made new highs, so that's going to help Aussie a little bit. No dog in this fight, no trades here. Um, not sure what to do with the Aussie. Gun to my head. Um, you know, you might want to sell this up at uh, 68.20. Uh, not sure we're going to see that today. Let's take a look at Boone's. We talked about the possibility of stops over one, uh, 171. They did get those. We're now back lower. Your core short, you have a tradable uh, short on as well. You want to get too short um, because this is a long-term position. You want to be able to manage it. Uh, and you can't really take too much more risk on your tradable short. So, you know, your stop on tradable short has to be above this high here. With some, so let's call it 171.20. You want to try and take these guys back, uh, 169, 90, 80 area, um, core short, Boone's still the way. Uh, this is for the longer term, like we really do think that this sucker is going to, the yield is going to go back to zero, so right now the yield is around minus 30, 30 basis points is... I don't know, 800 points in boons. Let's look at gold. Teasing higher yesterday. Um, now back lower after the Cudlow comments. Those of you who, who bought this stuff in the 50s, now you just have to leave a stop where you own it. Uh, hope for the best. Um, if you're trading this uh, from this area, be careful, right? This could go either way now. This could go 20 bucks higher or 20 bucks lower. Um, so you're not in the greatest position for a medium term position. Uh, and just watch your risk, right? Because if, if yields go higher and stocks remain high, um, gold's going to struggle going higher. So just be careful with that. Manage your risk um, below. So if you bought these at 53, which a lot of my friends did, uh, those of you who are listening, be disciplined with this, right? You know, stop below 50 makes a lot of sense because if we do make a new low down there, a um, lot, of, lot of open space, a lot of clean air down there to keep going. What else is there? Uh, equities. We had the Cudlow comments last night, which pushed these guys up. Seeing a lot of tails here. We got expiry today. Uh, good pocket full of uh, 3100s rolling off. Uh, as I've been told, probably visit down there at some point today. 3100. Not really sure what to do with this. It doesn't, you know, there wasn't a lot of evidence behind what Kudlow said. Why everyone believes him that this trade thing is going to be done, uh, I don't know. But flows are bullish. Um, I do think you can probably sell high ones in this region for a uh, at least a revisit to the 3100 area but same token um, maybe just stand aside and watch as this insan insanity continues um, and then wait for the market just to catch itself you'll know and you don't have to be first this is the thing you don't have to be first. You never have to be first in trading. Sometimes it's better to be third. You take less pain. Um, so let's see how this goes. But keep in mind, we have expiries today, so there's going to be some volatility. This should uh, have some volatility both sides uh, for the New York session. That's really all I got. Uh, our, our focus is on Euro higher here today. We're managing our boom shorts. Uh, and in general, we're calling this dollar turn. We're looking for negative, uh, negative U.S. dollar uh, over the coming days and weeks. I'll leave it with that. Uh, and wish you a good weekend. 
and let you know that uh, you know if you like this stuff if you like these videos make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and voila there we go I will leave you guys with that and talk to you on Monday ciao